Hey, it's Jim with another Tech Tips 411 tutorial. And today I'm going to talk to you about Glide Apps. Glide Apps is a really cool free tool that you can use to create a mobile application using Google Sheets. You might be wondering, with a Google Sheet? How is that possible? But I'm going to show you how. It's super simple and easy, and I've used it to create not one, but two applications. So let's check it out. You might be wondering, well, why would I want an app? You might want an app to be able to organize information and share it with your students, your parents, your community. And because it's based on that Google Sheet, as soon as you update it in the Google Sheet, it goes live. So it's a little bit different than coding an app and then having to do an app update and someone has to download the app. The way this works is you can save this as an icon. It's a link to a web-based app. You can do it on iOS and Android and it links directly to that app no update required. So that means that people that are using the app don't have to go back and forth and go, hey, click on this and uh, update. Don't have to do that. So here I am uh, at the glideapps.com website and that's again, glideapps.com. I'm gonna put the link in the description, but it's very simple. You're gonna go ahead and sign up with your free account and you can link it to your Google account. So if you click on sign up. So I've logged in with my Google credentials and as I mentioned, I have two apps. The first application that I created was my Tech Tips 411 mobile app. And then for my Google Innovator project, I created my Lights Camera Action app. So it is a free tool. There are, it's freemium in the sense that you can do quite a lot for free. And then if you wanna have some more integrated features, you can definitely do that. You can pay for those uh, paid options. But I'm using the free version because free is my favorite price. So let's dive in here and take a look at, here's my Tech Tips 411. This is the Tech Tips 411 application and this is behind the scenes. And you might be like, this is a lot. I, I don't know what to do here. You're not actually doing any coding. The information will be pulled into Glide Apps. So this is the back end of it. And I wanna kind of show you what it looks like here. If you've ever checked out my Tech Tips 411 app, which if you haven't, I'm gonna put the link in the description. You should definitely check it out. It's having all the awesome stuff that's on my website in the palm of your hand. So as you can see, I have all of my weekly tip stuff right here. I have my resources. This links to all the resources pages on my site, all my favorite apps that I recommend, all the extensions. Uh, so if you're like me and you just love cool extensions, in addition to that, my gear, I always get a lot of questions like, Jen, what would you recommend? Mics that you're using, green screen, all that kind of stuff. That's all there. And then how you can quickly uh, connect with me and my email information, a little bio about me. All of that is in the mobile app. And you'd be like, that's a lot. How did you do that? Let's take a look at the data. And this is where it's drawing from. So this is my actual data sheet. So how it works is I have a tab in Google Sheets for each of the tabs on my Glide app. It's that simple. And it's a matter of copying and pasting in URLs, putting in some descriptions, adding in pictures, things like that. So as you can see from my weekly tips, there's the, the tip, the name of the tip, a photo that's affiliated with it. So you have that icon. And for me, I also have what type of resource it is. So you can filter for that, the website and a description for it. All of that is just literally Google Sheets and it's pulled into Glide app. So I can go to resources here. I can see that for resources, I have an image for it, the name of the resource, what type it is, if you wanna search it. In addition to that, a link to that page on my website. Same with my favorites. There's the name of the favorite, a photo that goes with it, which can be Googled. You can find and pull that image in. In addition to that, a link to that particular resource. Again, same thing with my gear, all of that. So it's all it is, is putting the information in a Google Sheet. So however you wanna organize it, you can do that. So we go back to then layout, notice I can add some different elements. I can choose to create the layout, have it be in a list, have it be compact, have it be tile. So like this one's under details. It just depends on the way you want it to look. And so you get that look and feel design option here. So I can have a list, I can have those uh, with the name of it, show the photo, and then also have it under features. I can say search if you want, group some elements. So again, I can have a uh, compact list. I can put it in tiles. So if we take a look at checklist here. I can go to cards. So that means it's gonna have more information about each thing. I can have the details list. 
we're going to go back to the list option here. So that's the way it looks. So that if I were to click on this to give me a little more information and then it hyperlinks to that. You can add in just regular links. So I have this link right here, which takes you to the subscribe to my Tech Tips 411 link. So over here, you can see I can adjust the appearance. Uh, I can add the app info. I'm able to actually have this be the name of my app and uh, all of that good stuff. I can upload my icon so that when someone saves the app, you can see that I can go to privacy. I can go into sharing who can see it. You can require sign in. So if you want it to be private, as you can see, they have different integrations. So if you want to have some Google analytics, that's more of a paid feature. You can do that as well. So I can go here and see my different tabs. I can organize my tabs. I can reorder them by dragging this up and down. And so if I did that, then it's just going to reorder it immediately down here. Again, no coding required. Again, it's very simple to organize and add elements into that Google Sheet that you create. And I'm going to show you what it looks like behind the scenes. The Glide apps pulled it all this data in, but this is what it looks like. This is the actual Google Sheet. So it's a matter of putting all that information in there. And you might be thinking, Jen, that's a lot. You've been but I've been collecting and adding to it. So every week when I do a new Tech Tips 411, I also go in and update it inside the app, adding that weekly tip, adding that Chrome extension or any other new favorite that I might add. So that's the behind the scenes. Let's take a look at another one of the apps and uh, that I've created just to show you some other creative uses for it. So I'm gonna go back to my Glide, back to my dashboard because you can have multiple apps and I'm gonna open up. So this is my Lights Camera Action app. So it has a totally different look than the uh, first app, the Tech Tips 411 app. But what's great about this one is I have links to the apps and sites I recommend for video production. I have my video gear. I have uh, under this one, I have apps and sites that I recommend, but I also have like Jen's Fave, if it's your novice or an intermediate or advanced, uh, I've rated those items. Uh, I have the video gear in here. It is a different look than my other app, but I was able to pull the data, copy and paste it, from the other sheet, which is really cool. So if you already have a Google sheet with some data that you want to put into an app, it's very easy for you to copy and paste and bring that in. Uh, this one also has links to resources. So I've got images in there. When you click on it, it lets you access these resources. In addition to that, I have a video playlist page. This is the idea share. So if you've got an idea that you're using video in the classroom, you can upload it and share. So this is great. You can link in for resources that you want people to share and contribute. And last but not least, a little bit about me and the project and how I created it. And again, I can change any of these elements, moving it from a list to a compact view to a tile view, any of those elements right there. So there's two ways for you to create a new app. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to choose, see there's this create app. I have two options from a Google sheet or from a template. These templates are super cool. Let's take a look at templates first. So if I click on from a template, they keep adding more and more templates in here, but I can actually filter. And when I started, there were only a handful of templates when I first created my Tech Tips 411 app. But as you can see, they keep adding more. But if we want to go to education, I can see what is the type of app that I'm trying to create. And by doing that, it's going to go ahead and pre-populate some sections and things you want. Now, remember, I pointed out that there was free so we have some free options here, attendance tracker, daily drama fun, weather. Uh, here's an example of a school one that's been shared. Uh, here's one that's on house points, but notice that that one is a paid one. You can pay for the template and get access to it. So if you want to start from scratch and you can't find a template that works for you, you can go here from a Google Sheets. So just a little tip here, you can type in sheets.new and it will open up a brand new spreadsheet. So I just typed in sheets.new. So I can go here and I'm going to go ahead and name this one here just so I know what it is. I can go ahead and put my categories. I wanted to put my app. So let's go back to our Glide app. So I want to create my, remember I'm going to choose to create from a Google Sheet. So I'm going to go to a Google Sheet because that's the most recent thing I've worked on. It's going to show right here. I'm going to go ahead and open it. There we go. It automatically loaded uh, from my sheet. So as you can see, I've got uh, the title of the subject my site, my link. I can go in here and customize this from list to compact to tiles, which means it's going to have more of a headline for the description. I can go in here and add elements. So right now there's no logo. So I can actually I'm gonna go back to this and now I'm going to add in a photo option. You can call it photo or you can call it logo or icon. So I'm going to paste that in. So now it's pulling that, that uh, link 
and it found that new column. So any changes I make, it automatically catches them and goes, oh, okay, let's go ahead and update that. And voila, there's that new image. So you wanna make sure that it's gonna be an image that's gonna fit, which is pretty cool. So I can obviously point what data do I wanna be shown. So it's a matter of clicking and changing the way you, what you want things to look like. But let's go over here to um, the settings. So let's take a look at our settings so we can go to appearance. This is where I can customize the look and feel of my app. I can go in and say, all right, I want these colors. I want it to have that black background and I want it to pop with the color. I can, do, I can change my colors on there if I want. I can even do a custom color. So if you want to drill down to a specific color, if you know your uh, hex code color, you could do that. So if you're working on branding for your specific school or site or program, you can do that. Under appearance also, I can scroll down here and you can see that I can choose the, uh, the typography, which is really cool. They've added some more options. So your text can look a little bit different. I hope you learned a little bit about Glide apps and maybe you're excited to dive in and create your first app. I'm gonna put a link in the description that takes you right there and also link you to the other apps that I've created. Uh, please let me know in the comments below if you've created an app, drop a link to the app you create and let me know if you found this video beneficial. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, give it a like and subscribe to the channel so that you are notified of future videos. Thank you so much for watching.